US, testing its super advanced $1 billion drone. Drones have rapidly become one of the US military's primary weapons as US counterterrorism policy has gravitated towards methods that are more secretive, more lethal, and more removed from the battlefield. Unmanned aerial vehicles, commonly known as drones, are remotely controlled aerial systems that are used to carry out lethal counterterrorism strikes as well as surveillance and other non-lethal operations. In this video, we're going to take a look at the X-47B Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle. Before we look at this, a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. But now, back to the X-47B. During the war in Vietnam, the US Navy monitored the heart rates of some of their pilots flying through Hanoi's air defenses, understandably raised the pulse. However, their hearts went even faster at the end of the flight when they had to land their jets on an aircraft carrier. These may be big for a ship, but they are small for an airport. Unlike pilots, unmanned aircraft or drones don't have hearts and they are never tired. If a drone crashes or gets shot down, its pilot can't get hurt or taken hostage. Instead, the operator is safely at his or her home base. So it's easy to see the attraction of unmanned aircraft. The X-47B is a demonstration unmanned combat aerial vehicle designed for aircraft carrier-based operations. Under a contract awarded by the Navy in 2007, the American company Northrop Grumman designed and produced two X-47B aircraft. The first flight of the X-47B demonstrator, designated AV-1, took place at Edwards Air Force Base in California in 2011, with the second aircraft, AV-2, following just 10 months later. The aircraft was designed to help the Navy explore the future of unmanned carrier aviation. The successful flight test program has set the stage for the development of a more permanent carrier-based fleet of unmanned aircraft, which unfortunately hasn't happened yet. Northrop Grumman Corporation used a series of low-speed wind tunnel tests to successfully validate the aerodynamic design X-47B Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle. It was developing for the Joint Unmanned Combat Air Systems Concept Demonstration Program. The tests, which use a high-fidelity scale model, were completely ahead of schedule in September 2004. They were conducted at Northrop Grumman's Low Speed Wind Tunnel in Hawthorne, California, as part of the company's $1.4 billion contract for the operational assessment phase of the Joint Unmanned Combat Aerial System Concept Demonstration Program. The test data gathered from more than 750 test runs confirmed the excellent low speed stability and control characteristics of the X-47B design. These characteristics are fundamental to X-47B's success in an aircraft carrier environment that requires frequent catapult launches and arrested recoveries. The tailless unmanned craft is 38.2 feet long and has a wingspan of 62.1 feet. The shape of the aircraft is designed for stealth or low observable relevant requirements. There are no obvious vertical surfaces about the aircraft, making it a true flying wing design in the mold of the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. The power plant is buried within the fuselage and aspirated via a shallow duct along the forward fuselage spine. The engine exhausts through a specially designed port at the rear of the airframe. Lacking a pilot means more internal volume can be reserved for specialized mission equipment, armament, fuel stores, avionics, and subsystems. The weapons bay is capable of carrying 4,500 pounds of weapons, which are not installed on the demonstration units. Operations of the computer-controlled X-47B are smart, and its flight control system is autonomous. The navigation of the aircraft is controlled by a hybrid global positioning system, vision-based system. The flight path is pre-programmed and its operations are monitored by a mission operator. The undercarriage on the aircraft is retractable and made up of two single-wheeled main legs, joined by a twin-wheeled nose leg. As a carrier-based aircraft, several key qualities have been integrated into the X-47B design, including folding wings for storage, corrosion resistance to counter the effects of the salty sea, and a reinforced undercarriage with a rester hook. In 2012, Northrop Grumman tested equipment designed to allow ground crews to manually steer the aircraft along the carrier deck. With a wingspan of 62 feet, making it nearly twice as wide as it is long, and 17 feet wider than the Navy's Boeing F-A-18 Super Hornet Strike Fighter. It can't be an easy job. The X-47B is equipped with electro-optics, infrared, synthetic aperture radar, inverse synthetic aperture radar, ground moving target indicator, electronic support measures, and maritime moving target indicator sensors. 
The aircraft features both probe and droves of the U.S. Navy and boom receptacle mechanisms of the United States Air Force for autonomous air refueling. Power for the X-47B is being served through a single Pratt & Whitney F100-220U turbofan engine. This provides a cruising speed of 685 miles per hour with an operational range in excess of 2,100 nautical miles. The aircraft is cleared to operate at service ceilings nearly 40,000 feet. In May 2013, the X-47B Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstrator began touch-and-go landing operations aboard the aircraft carrier USS George H.W. Bush. It completed its first-ever carrier-based catapult launch from USS George H.W. Bush off the coast of Virginia. The unmanned aircraft launched from the deck of the carrier at 11.18 a.m. It executed several planned low approaches to the carrier and safely transited across the Chesapeake Bay to land at Naval Air Station, Patuxent River, Maryland, after a 65-minute flight. Prior to the catapult launch, the test team also conducted deck handling and ship integration testing to demonstrate the capability to safely operate the X-47B in the dynamic, unforgiving environment of an aircraft flight deck. In 2015, the X-47B successfully conducted the first-ever autonomous aerial refueling of an unmanned aircraft. While flying off the coast of Maryland and Virginia, the aircraft connected to an Omega K-707 tanker aircraft and received over 4,000 pounds of fuel using the Navy's probe and drogue method. During the test, the X-47 exchanged refueling messages with a government-designed refueling interface system aboard the tanker. The aircraft autonomously maneuvered its fixed refueling probe into the tanker's drogue, also known as the basket, the same way a Navy pilot would refuel a manned aircraft. The X-47B project was initially funded under a $635.8 million US dollar contract awarded by the Navy in 2007. By January 2012, the X-47B's total program cost had grown to an estimated $813 million US dollars. Government funding for the X-47B Unmanned Combat Aerial System Demonstration Program was to run out at the end of September 2013, with the close of the fiscal year. However, in June 2014, the Navy provided an additional $63 million US dollars for post-demonstration development of the X-47B. In March 2014, the X-47B won the 57th Annual Laureate Award for extraordinary achievements in aeronautics and propulsion. In April 2014, the National Aeronautic Association selected Northrop Grumman, the United States Navy, and the X-47B's development team as joint recipients of the 2013 Collier Trophy for Excellence in Aeronautic Technology. Unfortunately, now the X-47B has been retired, but this testing helps solidify the concept that future unmanned aircraft can perform standard missions like aerial refueling and operate seamlessly with manned aircraft as part of the carrier air wing. Over the past years, the Navy accomplished several significant firsts with the X-47B that showcased the Navy's commitment to unmanned carrier aviation. With the completion of this program, the service continues to develop its future unmanned carrier-based platform known as U-Class. What do you think of the X-47B? Do you think unmanned drones are a good thing? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.